Hi, thank you for tuning into my channel. I hope that me being anonymous does not deter you from my story. Hopefully one day I will find the courage to share the name that I was given at birth. But for now, I will just share my heart and hope that that is enough. I am currently in the process of a divorce. I was inspired after going through one of the hardest times in my life this past almost year after learning my husband was cheating to start a channel to encourage others who may be going through a divorce or separation and to share some of the things that I have learned during my journey. Instead of rambling my story, I have decided to sum it up in a short story that I titled, The Day Nothing Was the Same. It was a regular weekday. I got up to read my morning devotional, prayed, got ready for work, went to my nine to five, and returned home. But something about this day turned out not to be so regular. My husband usually gets home around four to five from work. My husband usually answers the phone when I call. My husband usually texts me back when I text him. But today was different. Today, four o'clock came and there was no sign of my husband. 5 o'clock, 5.30 came, and no sign of my husband. 7 o'clock, 7.30 came, and no sign of my husband. He wasn't answering my phone calls. He wasn't answering my text messages. He had completely disappeared. I called hospitals. He wasn't there. I called jails. He wasn't there. I went by his job and what hit me in my spirit and gut when I arrived was not a fear that I held previously in my marriage. My husband was cheating on me. As I spoke to the co-worker who verified my husband had dropped off everyone hours ago, my chest sunk into my stomach as the inference of his demeanor and words suggested that he knew something I did not know. As I drove away confused, angry, worried, hurt, and sad, the thoughts running through my mind were too frequent to keep track of. As I waited in my bed to hear from his family or friends that I had so desperately contacted about his whereabouts, he walked through the door. As he walked through the door, I stared at him for a while, not knowing what to say at first. Flowing from my tongue came the words, where have you been? I have been worried sick. I have called hospitals. Why didn't you answer your phone? Your whole family was worried. As I watched him in that moment, I could tell that my panic and rage had no effect or significance to him. He just slumped on the floor of our bedroom with his hands crouching his head, sat on the floor and said, I needed to get away and do some thinking. Before this moment, I had cursed and went off about him being with another woman, only to be responded to with a bold denial. As my husband sat on the floor, he explained how he was not happy, how he was lost and confused and did not know whether he wanted to be married anymore and how he thought we needed to separate. In that moment, I felt like a victim of my husband, who I looked at as stealing my life, my hopes and my dreams, my perfect love story, 
my perfect Christian marriage, not truly perfect, but perfect to me. As that night came to an end, I knew that nothing would ever be the same. I cried myself to sleep that night. And the next day, as I stayed home from work, dreading the future, dreading the unknown, dreading the lack of hope that penetrated my mind, body, and spirit. What do I do now? What will I tell everyone? How will this make me look? Who will ever want a divorced woman? Who will ever want to listen to anything I have to say after a failed marriage? These and so many other questions ran through my head as I tried to figure out how and why this was happening. Day by day, more and more was revealed, and I learned that my husband was in fact having an affair. Although we had no kids, I felt like the last almost three years of my life had been robbed from me. As we went through the months of trying to figure it out and back and forth separation, My husband called me to come over and talk one day and told me that his cheating was just one of the outcries of his depression that I learned he struggled with in the beginning of our marriage and that he wanted to take a path focused solely on him and not marriage. In a nutshell, he wanted a divorce. After going through the ups and downs, trying to make it work, and then the stages of separation leading to a divorce, I felt led to share my story with other women like me who may be struggling like I was and sometimes still do. In my darkest moments, I found myself surfing the internet for any video blog, or any information that could help me not feel alone and get through the horrible moments of my experience. I hope by going on the journey of my story and expressing feelings, thoughts of pain, hopelessness, but then somehow finding faith, hope, joy, and gratitude during my separation and divorce Women who are experiencing what I was and sometimes still do can find healing and hope in our faith, words, and in each of our shared experiences. Please subscribe. I will be posting videos on different topics of what helped me during my separation divorce journey soon. Until next time. Keep going.